everybody. James Elliott here with Baron Stark Engineers. Joining me today is our managing principal, Chuck Stark. Today we're going to talk about Kelly Ranch in Parker County, Texas. Chuck, can you provide a, just a general overview of Kelly Ranch, its scope, phases, and overall timeline? Uh, absolutely, James. Uh, Kelly Ranch is a very unique project. Um, number one, it's by far and away the largest single project that we have done here at Baron Stark since we started this endeavor in 2009. And it has a lot of unique aspects that we wouldn't normally see on a project in, you know, closer into the heart of the Metroplex. Uh, kind of from an overview, it's, it's a 2,000 acre plus development. It's going to have a uh, top line, you know, designer golf course. There'll be multiple phases of residential development with different types of homes and lots. There'll be a medical uh, center. There will be a, you know, a grocery store for the, the residents, commercial, hotel. Uh, just a very, truly fits the definition of a multi-use, very varied development. With Kelly Ranch being such a large project, what major obstacles uh, have presented themselves so far that was crucial that you and the rest of the team had to overcome? Well, the, the number one obstacle be, to be dealt with that you don't have on most large mixed-use developments is that there was no existing water and sewer facilities of any kind anywhere around the area of the project. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're at Alliance or closer into the Metroplex, you have a good backbone of existing water, sewer, even power facilities that you can use for your development. In the case of Kelly Ranch, there was nothing existing. Uh, so we had to create our own water treatment system, our own water supply, wastewater treatment. All of that started from scratch. So. Kelly Ranch will be serviced by Creston Crossroads Mud Number 2. Chuck, talk to us about the different uses of Kelly Ranch. Uh, it's very varied, James. Uh, first of all, there will be a very large residential component. We anticipate it will build out somewhere in the neighborhood of 2,500 homes. In addition to that, uh, as I said, there's a medical complex planned. Uh, there will be a hotel. And of course, you have the center point. Masterpiece of it all is the Avanzada Golf Course. The golf course is designed by Jim Light Studios. Uh, he's part of the Jack Nicholas uh, family of golf courses. And so, you know, they definitely have a big name top designer associated with that. Chuck, could you expand on the different types of residential? There are three subdivisions within the overall subdivision project. First is, is Rio Vista. Um, that is, those are the smallest lots, um, concrete curve and gutter streets, kind of the urban type subdivision and phase one of that is nearing completion right now. The paving is down. We should see home starts there in the next 30 days or so. Uh, then from there, the next step up, Avanzada, part of the project. Now these are the, the lots that border on the golf course. These would probably, we call these the crown jewel. Uh, they will be, you know, over 50% of the lots will back to a golf course fairway or green or something like that. So those those will be the most in demand and correspondingly the most expensive lots to purchase. But the rolling hills topography of this general area are going to make just some spectacular home sites. Then the third piece, which is really fits kind of in between Rio Vista and Avanzada, is called La Dorada. Those lots will be uh, located on uh, north of Bear Creek Road probably average about three quarters of an acre. Um, they won't have golf course at, uh, frontage, but they will be big enough, uh, you know, for someone that wants, you know, the larger yard, uh, playroom for the kids, those type of things. So there will be three different price points, all located in with the same geographical region, and all will have access to the same uh, project amenities, uh, walking trails, workout center, that kind of thing. Chuck, who is the developer of Kelly Ranch? And talk to us a little bit about the other team members involved in the design and construction. The landowner and master developer for Kelly Ranch is a gentleman named Ryan Voorhees, and his company, or one of many, is Gold Creek Homes. In addition to Baron Stark, we're the civil engineers and surveyors. Um, Eagle Hammonds is the real estate uh, company that's handling all the marketing and the sales. Jim Leip Studios is the golf course architect. 
Uh, there are other multiple landscape architects, you know, paving contractors, utility contractors. Uh, it, it's just a, a very large cast that it takes to put a project like this together and bring it to market. Are there any PGA players involved? Uh, we do have one PGA player. Uh, his name is J.J. Henry. Um, it was on the PGA Tour for many, many years and now makes his home here in Fort Worth. And he's kind of consulting on the design, uh, the shaping of the course in the field, what trees to save, you know, what trees not to. Uh, kind of be a, a new experience for him being on the design side as far as opposed to the player side. Uh, I think he's really enjoying it. Uh, and I think he will stay involved in the in the project in some form or fashion for years to come. Chuck, can you talk about the timing of everything on each phase and when the golf course will open? Rio Vista is on the ground right now, and we should see how this starts uh, in the next 30 days. The golf course is under construction. Uh, they've cleared all the fairways. They've done the, the tree pruning and thinning, and earthwork is just starting. Ideally, they'll start putting down grass uh, late this fall, early winter, and continue through the, the winter months, having all the grass and vegetation in place by around March 15th of 2024. Then that starts the grow-in season. Uh, so there will be very limited play in spring of 24 through, on through the summer. If the weather cooperates and you know everything hits on schedule, hopefully the course will be open for general play sometime in the fall of 2024. And by that time, we should have the clubhouse in place, you know, the amenity center will be well underway under construction, and it will really look like a golf course community. The Avanzada Residential has uh, just started construction last month. It will continue on throughout the summer and fall of 2023, hopefully having uh, the streets paved out right around the first of the year. Home starts in there could start as early as first quarter of 2024. Then La Dorada, the far north segment of the development, uh, is currently in the design phase. Uh, we anticipate releasing that for construction March 1st of 2024. Construction will continue through the summer of 24. Home starts, you know, early third quarter of 2024. Now each of those three components, Rio Vista, Avanzada, and Lotterata have multiple phases. The timing of the design and construction of subsequent phases will all be market driven. You'll have to stay tuned to find out when those will be.